This panel offers us a very interesting idea. Since electric cars take forever to charge and their batteries are expensive to make and pollute the environment, we should use hydrogen power instead. Because hydrogen is abundant in the atmosphere, and it's more environmentally friendly to store hydrogen in giant tanks than destructive lithium batteries. At first glance, this looks like a good idea, but it doesn't really work. Many of you don't know this, but electric cars were invented in the late 1800s, but since combustion engines were more affordable and easier to work with, and since battery technology at the time wasn't really good, the invention was dropped and forgotten until it was revived in the late 2000s, and now many companies are making electric cars, especially since they're more environmentally friendly. Even so, the batteries still suck. They take hours to charge. We need to mine lithium and cobalt to make them, and they're hard to dispose of when they reach end of life. So what if we use hydrogen instead? first thing that comes to mind is it's extremely abundant, and hydrogen has a much higher energy density by weight than lithium-ion batteries. A hydrogen-powered car could be refueled in 5 minutes, as opposed to an electric car taking at least an hour to charge. But if this was such a good idea, why hasn't anyone done it yet? Well, Honda and Toyota actually did put out hydrogen vehicles a few years back, but this technology packs way more problems than you can imagine. Hydrogen itself may be everywhere, but you have to use electricity to split water molecules into H2 form that can be stored and used, and then more electricity has to be used to compress it to extremely high pressures. Plus, it leaks out of almost any container over time and is highly reactive. In simple words, you need hydrogen gas, and it takes an insane amount of energy to produce and store it. Since the process is so inefficient, we lose about 60% of the original electricity in the whole chain. The power used to produce the hydrogen is way more than what the hydrogen can actually deliver. Not to mention that most hydrogen today is made through steam reforming of natural gas, which produces a lot of CO2 pollution. So at that point, why not just use that power in the first place to run an electric vehicle? The other issue is that while hydrogen has a high energy density by weight, it has terrible energy density by volume. You would need massive high pressure tanks to get comparable range, meaning your car gets heavier and consumes more power, and since I have complained about electric battery issues, hydrogen fuel cells has even more problems. In low temperatures, moisture can freeze in the fuel cell causing all sorts of issues, like dropped efficiency or even permanent damage. Current hydrogen fuel cells use platinum as a catalyst, which isn't exactly clean to mine and makes the systems incredibly expensive. So while hydrogen cars might look better than electric vehicles at the surface, it's very hard to make H2 efficiently and store it safely and the whole process costs way more energy than it can deliver back. That's why hydrogen just doesn't work for passenger cars. 